Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I am going to be telling you guys everything that you need to know about the alchemy specializations here in Season of Discovery. Now, these are very similar to the ones that come later in the game. TBC, for instance, um, with Potion Master, Elixir Master, and Transmutation Master. So there's, these are just all the specializations that you can get. But before we begin the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel grow, helps me get discovered, and helps me help as many people as possible, which is the entire point of my channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So we are right here in Teneras at Steam Weedle Port at about approximately 6722 coordinates. And we are going to come to these two people, um, Master McNaught. Mixologist and Transmutation Master, and the requirements for this are level 45 and 275 Alchemy. So these are the two things that you need to just even start these quests. Then we are going to talk to this guy, and we have to go to... We have to bring him 10 Invisibility Potions, 10 Elixirs of Demon Slaying, and 5 Elixirs of Sages. So I have prepared all of these already, and these... Are Patterns are world drop patterns or questing patterns that you have to go out and get. And buying them just straight up off the auction house cost me about 100 gold. So we are going to go ahead and turn that quest in. And then we are able to get procs, additional procs, on our uh, elixirs and potions now. Then the other one is Transmutation Master, and he wants three Arcanite bars. In order to get Arcanite bars, you have to have Transmute Arcanite. And you have to have one Thorium Bar and an Arcane Crystal, so very minor heavy. You can only get those by mining Rich Thorium Veins. And so you pick up the Transmute Arcanate recipe actually here in Gadgetan at the Alchemy Vendor, about at coordinates 5027. It's in the northwestern part of the city. So definitely go there and pick those up. He has a he has all the transmute recipes that you will, and it does share a cooldown. So I'm probably not going to spend the absorbent amount of gold to make the arcanate. So I'm just going to transmute mithril to true silver here. Actually, we're going to do iron to gold here just to show you that it does share a cooldown. I always want to make sure that you guys understand what I mean by that. So upon doing this transmutation right here, so it, it says it now has a one day cooldown so whatever you do it makes it that long so iron to gold is one day mithril to true silver is two days and i think arcanite is also two days but i could be mistaken with that anyway now i'm going to i prepped the materials here to make 16 um arcane elixirs and 13 greater elixir agilities just to show you guys what the proc chance is so look at my loot right here for this little science experiment just to show you how often this proc so we should right there just off the rip we got two we got two again so we are having great success with this and essentially right now herbs are pretty close to what it costs to make one potion so every time you see here that you are procking you are making profit so as you see we've gotten four two procs and one three proc just off the rip um obviously this is subject to you know a lot of luck and you can just have bad luck and then you will lose some profit but as you can see we've gotten a three proc and a two proc which is really good and so we were front heavy on the rng and made a bunch there and then now we have gone proc -less, but just really good rng with there and as you saw we got two and three procs so that's just very uh good to notice and now we are going to make 11 greater agilities here and as you see we got two of those one of those another two procs which is really awesome here i i swear i get the luckiest times making these for you guys when they're vi on a video like i i could sit here and do this at, at not recording and it, i would never have this luck but because i'm making it a video of course we get tons of procs that look very unrealistic i don't know what it is off the rip there but for both the agility and that flash we hit a ton of them so and so we made 11 elixirs of agility and 16 arcane elixirs and we ended up with 15 agility elixirs and 20 arcane elixirs so just a really awesome sample size batch so we made profit there 
um, obviously a lot of estimates estimating and also the most important thing is is as you saw we completed this quest and we are still on the transmutation master quest line so we are able to turn in this quest right here and we have the chance to proc both with we'll have the proc chance for both so it's just really awesome to see that it's kind of cool that you don't have to choose here in sod you can just literally be all of it but it'll cost you a pretty a pretty penny to do transmutation master so just keep that in mind guys but anyway if you have any more questions anything you'd like to add definitely drop it down below in the comments i'll do my very best to answer i've spent all day since yesterday here just blasting my druid to 45 and leveling alchemy just to show you guys this awesome video so i truly hope you appreciate it and until next time i'll see you later have a great day Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.